Welcome back to Drolla's Garage. Uh, I've had this SC here on that scissor lift for a little while now. I need to deal with it. I need to do something with it. Uh, build it, drive it, sell it, I don't know. But sitting there like that, it's not doing me any good. Uh, it's not doing the car any good. It's not doing my shop any good because I have a mess because of that car. For example, those wheels go on that car. Here's the transmission that goes on the car. There's the engine that goes on the car. So in cleaning up that car, getting that car back together, I can clear a lot of this clutter here, which is kind of driving me nuts. It's good. It's just, you know, it just gets to a point where it's too much. Also, those are the other wheels for the car. So it's just too much, you know, and it makes a mess. And then I get tools scattered everywhere. You know, my little tool cart is just a, oh, and that's the ducktail I'm gonna put on that car. So as you can see, the car is a, what do they call that? Rosewood Metallic. Uh, it looks brown, I call it the brown car, but uh, it's Rosewood Metallic, Palisander Metallic is what the uh, Germans call it. So my idea was turn it into sort of a rat rod, uh, you know, a black ducktail that I got for it. I have a black fiberglass hood here that I'm going to put on it. I had that one on my 964, but I have since changed it to a carbon fiber uh, bonnet. So I'm going to put that fiberglass one on the car. Obviously no engine. I got to put the engine in it. It is a cool car. Uh, I do like it. It had a lot of bugs. Uh, I had to resolve the interior is super nice. It's a little messy right now because I was trying to see what I was going to do with the console. I like the cars with a clean tunnel. So I bought a radio delete plate. The radio in this car was some old pullout, like a Pioneer or something from back in the 80s. So I took it out. I was thinking of putting the switches for the AC on the radio delete panel and just eliminating the console altogether. I know it's convenient to have the little cubby, but I just like the way it looks without it. Uh, the seats have been done and houndstooth. So it's a nice little car. Uh, it drives fine. I do like it. Uh, I just don't need another car. That's my problem. Uh, back, you know, going back to the rat rod idea, I also removed the rocker panel on this side. Let me close this door. So in removing the rocker panel, I think it looks kind of cool like that. So uh, this oil line was crushed too. So I had to fix that oil line. Uh, car was running a little warm on me when I get on the highway. So yeah so just aside from just the car itself the mess that i have here because of this car it's just gotten to me uh, i need to deal with it so i you know i got the bumper over there on top of the tire machine it's just a mess oh i also put a nice uh, oil cooler up here with a fan and everything uh rebuilt all the brakes uh stainless steel lines I still have a few more parts, as you can see, Pelican parts to the rescue again. I need to uh, get that uh, engine back together. Nothing major, I did a valve adjustment, new seals. I had to put a new rear main seal. That was the main reason I took the engine out anyway, because the rear main seal was leaking. So, you know, these one-time bolts, I had to, I bought them new, they're in the box. So I got to tighten the flywheel back up, put the clutch back on it, uh, get the transmission back in it and uh, get the car together and clean up this mess. Ah, it's just driving me nuts. But anyway, uh, I will get to that and let's see what happens. I was either thinking with this car, lower it, again, rat rod style, or maybe jack it up, make it like a safari, you know? Uh, the options are there. I just gotta decide which way to go. I think I'm just gonna make it a nice little rat rod and then see i don't know if i sell it or keep it or what it is a cool car but i just don't need another car i mean i don't know if you guys think that i need another car i have another enough cars here and i got another one at home so and i got you know it's just i don't need another car uh, i like the car i just don't need it so let's see as work begins i will start showing you guys everything that's going on with it and uh, hopefully we can get this guy back on the road and at least do something with it. Just not doing any good sitting here on my little scissor lift here and something needs to happen with the car. So let's get on it. Another reason I wanna get this mess dealt with is because 
the RS. This car, I need to be able to pull it out in the middle here, open both doors, and take the seats out, and I need to pull the carpet out of this car. Uh, I want to confirm that the carpets are dry, that there's no mold or anything like that. So part of the reason also that I'm kind of wanting to do this is to get this car in the middle with both doors wide open, seats out, carpet out. I need space for that. So uh, with all this clutter here, I can't really deal with that. Uh, I'm not sure which I'm going to do first. Um, carpet or SC. Uh, I might do the carpet first because that's a quicker project. Um, and then we'll get the SC together, get it back on the road. So stay tuned for that. It's coming. Okay, so I've just made the executive decision that the SC is going to be first. The reality is to get that motor buttoned up, it shouldn't take me all that long and there's not that much more to do. Uh, get the transmission uh, hooked up to the motor, get the clutch and all that stuff. At least get the motor up underneath the car and get rid of all this stuff. I can put the wheels on the car. So even if the car isn't 100% ready to go, I can at least get all this stuff out of here. This guy's on wheels, so I don't really care about that. And uh, make space. So that will be next time. Uh, for now, this concludes this video at least. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, bell, I guess, if you want to be notified. Uh, anyway, the next project is going to be the SC. So I will get on that soon. Um, maybe even today. Who knows? I got somebody coming to pick up a car, actually, so that's good. Get one car out of here, make a little more room, because it's uh, kind of tight in here, as you guys have noticed. So uh, thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.